Hey there everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome to Split Screen. Today we have our first of many 7 days to die Alpha 16 guides. Once the update is completely released and everything is finalized, Cody and myself will be doing more guides for you here on the channel as this is a game that both of us really enjoy. But to get things started, we're going to be going over the basics of electricity, talking about the battery, generator, and solar banks, and how you can use these to power your base. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Before we get started on running power, there are four skills you need to learn. First up is Electricity Basics, which allows you to craft the wire tool, which is the key part of running power. You need switches and triggers level 1 and 2, the generator bank, and then the battery bank skill, which requires a schematic. So once you have all four of these, we can go ahead and get started with the power. First up is the battery bank, and as the name implies, it runs on batteries. It requires you to read the schematic first before you can craft this in the workbench, but once you've crafted one, you can place it on the ground and then start loading it up with power. The battery bank has a total of six slots that you can put a car battery into, and depending on the amount of batteries and the quality of each one will determine just how much power this thing can put out. Higher quality and higher quantity batteries will give you more power, whereas less batteries and lower quality will reduce the amount of power it can put out. So put the best ones in there, and keep in mind that these will die over time, so you will need to change them out. Next is the generator bank. It's crafted in the workbench once you have learned the generator bank skill, and then from there it requires just a bit more fuel to get things going. The generator bank requires gasoline and small engines in order to run. Like the battery bank, it has a total of six slots for you to put engines into, and depending on the amount and quality of engines you have will determine the amount of power that this thing can put out. As with the battery bank, higher quality and more engines of course means more power, and less engines and less quality of course means less power. So keep that in mind when you're loading this up, and of course keep an eye on the amount of gas. Last we have the solar bank. This requires sunlight, and if you have it indoors, you need a block knocked out above it so it has direct access to sunlight. This requires solar cells to operate, and just like the previous two banks, the amount of cells you have in it and the quality of them will determine just how much power that this can put out. The only thing with the solar bank though is that it requires you to either A, loot it from a source, or B, buy it from a trader in order to use it. You cannot craft this in the workbench. So those are the three different types of banks you can use in your base. Now we're gonna go into wiring it and how you can get power around your base. So in order to start running power, you need the wire tool. This is craftable once you have learned the electricity basic skill. With that in your hand, you're ready to get started. With the wire tool, right click on the bank that you would like to run power from, and then it's going to drop a wire behind you. From there, go up to whatever you're trying to power. For tutorial's sake, we're gonna be powering a light. Right click on that, and it is gonna snap the wire between the two points. You will see electricity flowing through it, and all you need to do is go into your bank, turn it on, and it is gonna start powering the light. Another thing worth noting is that if you have the wire tool in your hand, and you go up to a light or whatever you're trying to power, it'll tell you just how many watts that you need to power it, and if you go inside of the bank, it'll tell you just how much power is being used by this bank in particular. So that's how you run a wire straight from the bank into whatever you're trying to power. What if you want to do a light switch so you can turn it on and off whenever you please? We're going to be getting into that next. In order to make a light switch, you of course need the bank you're running power from, a switch which can be crafted once you have learned the switches and triggers level 1 and 2 skills, and then you're going to need whatever you're running the power to. So first, start by connecting a wire to the bank with the wire tool. From the bank, you run the wire into the switch, and then from the switch, you run the wire to the light source or whatever you're trying to power. Make sure you do it in this order. You go from the bank to the switch to the light. You can't do it from the light to the switch to the bank. It'll mess up the routing of the power and it won't work. So start with the bank, go to the switch, and then go to the light. You then turn on the bank, and then you can flip the switch and it'll turn it on and off whenever you please. Last, we're gonna be going over something that is 
pretty cool if you guys are into in-depth builds. This allows you to use relays to not only extend power around your base, but also have lights run at a particular time. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. In order to power things across your base that are quite a distance from your bank, you will need to use relays. When you connect a wire to a relay, it will consume a small amount of power, but this offers a massive amount of flexibility in powering your traps and lights, and it doesn't require you to have multiple banks. So to get things started, you need to craft relays, and if you want things on at a certain time of day, you can craft a timer relay, both of which are available by learning switches and triggers level 1 and 2. So to start this, connect the wire to your bank like normal, run the wire from the bank to your first relay, and then from that relay you either connect it to the source that you want powered or another relay. Connect this to as many relays as you would like and then connect it to your source that you want powered. If you would like to have something turn on at night and stay on for the duration of the night, you connect it to a timer relay, you set the time that you want it to turn on, the time that you want it to turn off, and then from the timer relay you run that into the source you want powered, which you guys will see me do here. Electricity is a great addition to the game, we're having loads of fun with it, and the sheer amount it lets you do with traps and light sources is absolutely incredible. If there are other features you guys would like us to cover in tutorials and Alpha 16, let us know down in the comments section below and we will be sure to cover it. But anyways, we hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, a like is always appreciated, and if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to stay up with the latest in gaming news, guides, reviews, tutorials, and more here on the channel. Once again, thank you guys for watching Split Screen, and we will see you next time.